Oh, it's you again. <sighs> well, I guess if you're here already, I'll have to make something. A lot of people have been writing in to request that I show them how to make a proper lamb chop. Let me get one thing straight. You are not my supervisor. Today, I'm making a strawberry shortcake with the Yamalama spin. First, you'll need to prepare the strawberries. After washing them thoroughly under cold water and removing the stems, slice the strawberries into thin circles. Similar to if you were cutting someone's fingers off. Put all of the strawberry bits into a bowl and sprinkle a few pinches of sugar on them. This will cause them to naturally glaze as you prepare the custard and cake. For the custard layer, you will need milk, cornstarch, vanilla, eggs, and sugar. These all get mixed together in a pot set on the stove at around medium heat. As the milk evaporates, the mixture will thicken. It is imperative that you keep stirring the custard so that it does not burn. Having a second person do this while you make the cake is always helpful. I find the threat or application of violence useful in persuading others to assist in food preparation. And now for the cake. You can use any old cake recipe here, so long as it is a vanilla cake. Chocolate cake will overpower the strawberry and the custard. Most of you will probably want to use a cake mix, just so there's one less step for you to cock up. Bake the cake in the oven at 350 degrees until it's golden brown and fluffy, and when a toothpick is inserted it comes out clean. Once the cake is done, let it cool before slicing it into squares. Pour the custard on top, and then add the strawberry slices by hand to the top of the cake. Place the cake in the fridge for about an hour or two before serving. Today I'm using fence post as a fuel, because nobody crosses me and lives! And there's your damned cake. Next week I'm making beaver tail soup, because in the end, Yama Llama wins. Now get out of my house!